Hello everyone, thank you for watching. This is going to be a short tutorial on how to add blurry sides to a video in Shotcut. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe below and hit that notification button to see our next video first. Let's get started. I am using Shotcut version 191231. If you guys don't have that, I suggest going to their website and downloading the most recent version. So first thing you want to do is open up Shotcut and name your file. And here you want to select one of these options, probably a 720 or 1080 option. I'm going to select the 1080 60 FPS. Whenever I'm editing a video, I always like to open up the playlist so I can drag in everything I need for the video right from the start. So go ahead and drag your video into the playlist. Now you want to go to the timeline and create two video tracks. One of them will be the main video that the audience will be watching in the center. And the other you're going to add filters to so we can have that blur effect we're looking for. Now go to the playlist and drag the video into the timeline. One at each track that you just made. Then you want to remove the audio from the bottom track because it just isn't needed and may actually increase the export time and size. And you do so by right clicking on the bottom track, then select Detach Audio. Now that audio has become a new audio track below. Just right click here on that green yellow area and click Remove Track. Now we are ready to add filters to the bottom video track. So make sure it is selected by clicking on it and then click on Filters at the top. Now click on the plus button, and now you want to find or search for size and position, and then click on it. Then on the size mode, you want to click on distort. Now the track stretches across the whole canvas. Next we want to blur it. So go to filters again and search for blur. Several options appear, but what you want to select is blur Gaussian. A nice amount of blur in my opinion is 70, but you can raise or lower that number depending on how much blur you want. One more thing that I'll add as a bonus to help keep the focus in the center video is lowering the brightness of the blurry section. So if you want to try that, add one more filter by searching for brightness. And again, you can play around with how much brightness you want, but on this one I also think 70 is probably a good range. And everybody, that's it. Guys, if this video helped you out at all, please like and subscribe below. And if you have any questions or any suggestions for the next tutorial, please leave it in the comments. Thank you, everyone. Take care.